But first we start with John Duran to learn more about the victims and the survivors. John. And we're expecting a vigil to get started here at the location of the shooting at William, uh, Willard and Hackley Streets on Muncie's south side. The vigil was organized by a fake Facebook post that was sent out this afternoon. You could see a sizable crowd already showing up to honor one man that was killed here and several of others that were injured during Sunday morning's shooting, including one woman who was run over by a car as people were scattering. I talked to her sisters as she continues her fight in the hospital. Sunday morning, witnesses say they could feel the gunfire ringing out. I told my sisters, y'all just run, keep running. But as we running, it sounded like the shots was like right behind us. The crowd of several hundred people scattered. One person was killed by gunfire and 18 left injured, including Shaylin Orr, who was run over by a car fleeing the scene. Whoever it was, was trying to park their car and then I guess the gunshots started going after that and they probably was trying to get out of there. Trying to but... speed off to get away from it. Or was lifeline to Indianapolis. She's in ICU, she's on a ventilator. She has um, a collapsed lung. She um, broke her pelvic bone. She has a wound on her leg that is down to the bone. We didn't know if she was gonna lose her leg or not. She has three kids that she has to get home to. So we're just hoping for a good outcome. I feel safe going anywhere in this community. In Muncie, Lafay Pegues decided to honor the victims with a vigil. His niece was grazed in the knee with gunfire. I was kind of holding my breath all weekend, just praying that nothing would happen and that we would be able to have a successful weekend. And that didn't happen. Or sisters are hoping she makes a speedy recovery and the people responsible for her injuries are held accountable. I just want them to turn yourself in. If you don't, they're gonna find you. As we wait for this vigil to begin, already uh, I've seen Muncie police, Muncie fire here, as well as several concerned citizens, uh, some of which we talked to today. Karen Campbell got the chance to talk to city officials uh, earlier this morning. She's out at the uh, Muncie Police Department. Karen, what can you share with us? Hey, John. Yeah, we pressed police on what happened at that block party on Hackley and Willard. Uh, there are some questions they were not yet ready to answer. We asked them, uh, was this a gang related shooting? They said no. We asked them, was this a, a lone gunman who had a vendetta against someone else? They said no. They also said this was not a person who targeted a large group of people, but they also said there is now no danger to the public. The city of Muncie now on the map for a mass shooting. Investigators say the early Sunday morning shooting at a block party left 18 people wounded. One of those died. Police say another person was run over by a car. On Sunday morning, our community was shaken to the core by violence. Police say officers have been called to the venue hosting the block party in the past for several complaints. It was supposed to be for only 75 people, so you know, at least according to the paperwork, that's all they were expecting. Calls were made to the business owner to get the party shut down, but it was too late. Police are also looking into the possibility there was more than one shooter. We want people to get together and have a good time. We're not the fun police. It's when it gets out of control and people get hurt and we have a problem. City leaders say there have been multiple large parties in the city before without incident. Nothing to this extent, um, and most of them have broken up uh, with the police going by. Now, investigators are searching for the gunman and say they are also looking into the possibility multiple people fired shots. And again, at this hour, there are no suspects in custody. That's why police city leaders are asking for anyone who may have been at that block party, check your cell phones if you took any video, snap pictures. Also encouraging homeowners to check your video doorbell cameras to help solve this case.